Hey everyone, welcome back to my summer car. So, what I'm going to be doing today is attempting to wire this car. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with the build, this is episode 10, so I'm pretty far into this now, and the car is pretty much together, although it's looking a little worse for wear. However, I want to try and wire it, and then I'll probably do the tuning off camera, and then I will very likely uh, go and get the wheels next episode, or potentially this episode, depending on how long it takes to get everything else together. Uh, so the battery is here, it's not currently on the charger, or it's not currently in the car, I mean it was on the charger. Uh, but what I want to do is grab the wiring mess and throw this lad in here. Let's see if we can't just wire up the car. Okay, so I do have a guide for this, because I need a guide for everything in this game. It is very confusing. Let's make sure that I can do this right, uh, because, well, I want to make sure to do it once and do it right. We're only going to wire up the things that are necessary to actually drive. I'm not going to actually try and pass inspection, I don't think, uh, so we'll probably just get the basic stuff. So that being said, I've got the rear, or the trunk open here. Let me just, oh goodness, I haven't played this game in a couple weeks at this point. I forgot all the controls. Okay, so I'm down nice and low. I see that there is a connection up there, but I don't know how to connect to it. I think you have to press F, something like that. Okay, so I just did some quick reading, and apparently the... Uh, check mark does actually have to come up for this, so we've got to find the check mark, and then press F, and then we need to... Oh my goodness, this would have been a lot easier if there was less stuff on the car. <laughs> okay, things are already going very, very wrong. Nothing in this game ever goes right for me, but I'm just kind of accepting that at this point. Especially when the car goes flying in the air so often. <laughs> oh my goodness, it just put itself on the tractor. You know, this might actually benefit us. Uh, if I can lean on in here... Actually, maybe that's a bit too too low. There we go. So the wiring connector, I think it's somewhere on one of these side pieces. It would make sense. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have that. And then the rear light is a connection. Okay, this is the issue with the car being so beat up, because I can't tell where it's supposed to be, so... I guess it's kind of somewhere out here-ish, but I can't quite get to it, so maybe, maybe we can try this other light. There's likely just a little spot that it needs to connect to, but I can't seem to get it. Oh, fuel tank. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we have one wiring section done. Uh, we have wired up the fuel tank successfully. <laughs> Can I get a round of applause here? That was uh, some pure genius. Okay, connect up to here, and then the, the lights. Oh, I like it. I like it. This one over here. Ah, it feels good. Finally, success. Okay, so the headlights, they actually have to be removed, so I'm not going to do that right away. Uh, but we should be able to wire up the marker lights. Now let's just get the car off of this um, current placement <laughs> that I did not put it on. Okay, so the entire car has rolled over. Uh, I don't know if that's actually going to make this easier or not, but I'm going to give it a try anyways. Let's try and connect up the marker lights to the engine harness. I think that's where we're supposed to be going here. Oh, never mind, it's back. Okay, so there, there's a main harness connector here, but there's also a headlight connector, and I don't know where that is. Okay, quick research shows that the headlight connector is under the battery, which is down here somewhere. Let me just hop on in the engine bay, as I always do to figure this stuff out. Oh, I can kind of see it. What is this? Front lights connector right there. Wow, that is way off. That is not where that's supposed to be at all. Okay, I assume that this would be one of the easier ones to do, but apparently... It's a little more tricky than that. Okay, so I've connected the uh, headlight harness to the main harness. I don't know if that's correct, but a wire appeared, so I'm assuming that that means it was correct. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Okay, apparently I found the radio harness as well. I really don't know if I'm doing this stuff right or not, but the wires are appearing from the looks of things, so I must be close. Okay, apparently I just wired up the instrument panel through the car. Uh, I'm somehow doing magician's work here. Okay, let's get the important stuff done first though. We need the battery terminals to actually function, uh, which means that, oh goodness, oh, this is getting janky. So we need to go from the main harness to uh, the positive battery terminal, although there isn't a battery in the car. Hold up. All right, battery is in the car. That's a good thing. Uh, although this does mean that we are at risk of being electrically shocked. Also, I feel like I'm just way taller than I'm supposed to be, like like I'm some kind of giant, but anyways, we'll just get down low and try that again. Okay, so this one is pretty simple. We just have to go nice and easy to the 
Okay, regulator works for me too, and that's, that's another one down. And then the positive battery terminal is right here, although the battery box is kind of sticking out of the front a little bit, so I don't know what's going on with this. Anything could be anywhere at this point. Okay, I just connected the ignition coil as well by accident. Uh, I'm making progress, but not in the way that I had hoped to. Okay, I just got the alternator hooked up as well. That's kind of important, but this battery terminal issue is kind of significant because we won't be able to start the car unless I figure this one out, so. Oh goodness, I just lost the wiring mess in the car. Oh no, hopefully it fell to the ground. Honestly, this is about twice as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, I had hoped it would be just a nice easy install, but as with this game, nothing is ever easy. Let me see though. I'm just trying to get from the main hook up here over to the battery, but I'm not sure. I might have done it by accident or something at this point. I've got so many wiring connections done, I'm not even sure what's what. Okay, let's take a break from that and we'll do some of the fuse box ones. Uh, although, just thinking about that, that's probably not going to be easy because moving inside of the car is not terribly easy. Okay, down we go. Nice and close. Now the fuse box connections look like they're right around here somewhere. That looks like a connection there. That's the radio harness, okay. So if we can find the fuse box, I was able to find it before. Don't you just wish you had x-ray vision like this to look into the car? Try and find things in real life? That would make it so much easier. Okay, so I connected to the radio harness, and now I just have to find the fuse box, I guess. I haven't actually tried any of this stuff in the car yet or tried to start it at all. Um, obviously nothing's gonna work without this wiring, but still, we, we still have a bunch of stuff left. Okay, after a quick break to get rid of some of our issues, I am going to attempt this again. I don't know, like, it seems like when I click F on something, it sticks to that, so I'd like, I've, I've F'd on the main harness right now, so it's thinking that I need to do something else. Um, but I'm not sure if that's actually the case or not. Like, I still need to find this fuse box. Somewhere in here, it is hidden. Okay, more research later shows that this little box right in there is the fuse box, as I suspected, but it does not like to connect to it from this end for some reason. It's very finicky, this. Unless I've already got all the fuse box connections done, that is possible. Although I don't think I have the ignition switch, which is kind of a big deal. Oh, nice, okay, I just got something under here. I don't remember which one it was. Yeah, okay, there are actually some wires running under here, which is a good sign. <laughs> something is happening. Oh, finally, okay, fuse box. And then two... What? Instrument panel? Uh, what are we missing here? Ignition? Oh, there we go, thank goodness. Okay, next one. Come on, fuse box. The radio harness goes to the radio. I mean, that makes sense, but I'm not sure if I've done that already. It's kind of awkward because the wiring mess actually has to be in it. Okay, it seems like the radio is already hooked up, which is a good sign. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try some of the other things. Okay, dash harness connector to light switch. Ah, that's one. Okay, the starter as well. That's pretty important. We don't have an amplifier and stuff like that, so I'm just going to close that door for now. Um, but we are getting some wiring in, which is a good sign. Now, the positive terminal is one I still have not been able to find yet, uh, just because the battery area is so janky right now because it's so screwed up. But we need to go from the starter to the positive terminal. Okay, so the starter is right here. So I got that, and then the po positive battery terminal. Oh my goodness. It just does not appear. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Okay, I'm going to attempt to take the battery in and then put it back, and then maybe, just maybe, it'll work. Oh, got it. Okay, thank goodness. So that is now connected, and we can go from the main harness connector to the positive. Okay, the radiator fan connector as well. That's something that's pretty important. Looks like that's our setup there. Oh yeah, there's a bolt on the the battery terminal as well. And then the negative battery terminal. I'm not sure what we do with that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll just go grab the small wrench that we need, and then it looks like the ground is actually on the starter as well. Uh, so we'll need to make sure to do that properly. Oh, there it is. I found it. Oh, but it's deep in there. Okay, I saw a little connection. <laughs> oh, this is really tight. All right, there it is. There it is. So we'll connect that up, and then we need to loosen a 7 mil over here somewhere. So I remember, just got to go next to the battery. Okay, it seems like the battery fell out of its place. That's probably what was causing the issue of this battery moving around before. 
Uh, like, I wasn't able to find the terminal because the battery got shot out. It seems to happen a lot, unfortunately. Okay, there's the negative terminal. But I don't see any, like, check mark on it. Okay, so I'm going to undo this bolt, although I don't know if that makes any sense. And then I'll grab the wiring mess again, just like this. And then attempt to connect the two. Okay, battery ground connection. Okay, I got it. Thank goodness. So it was this one front bolt here. So strange. Okay, so that's why. it's the, That's the bolt it goes into to ground it on the engine. But there you go. The car is now at least semi-wired up. There's still wiring left to do, but... <laughs> goodness, that was a while. Okay, I'm going to take a quick sleep, and then I'll check over the car and make sure I didn't screw anything up. And then I think we'll be good to go. Uh, I've done it to myself again. Woken up in the middle of the night without any lights on. Goodness. Oh, never mind. Figured it out. I left the door open so I could see... Ah, uh, genius. Problem with that is, now I need the flashlight to go back in the house because I can't see anything. And that just means that, uh, <laughs> I'm just wasting time. Okay, further issue, I think I might be out of food. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, thank goodness. But I am really running dry here on supplies, so we're gonna be getting that Rusko a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker than, <laughs> than I further anticipated. We need those wheels and we need a lot of other stuff from it, so... Let's go ahead and check out the car and make sure I got everything major. Okay, so we skipped over the taillights, I think, but we got everything else in the back. We just needed the rear harness connector to connect to the gas tank. And the headlights as well, I basically skipped. We don't need those right now, so it's fine to skip those. Uh, but the main harness, that's this piece right here, is connected to the regulator, which is good. It's connected to this thing, which is also good. Positive terminal, which is a good thing. Ignition coil, that would be that would be this thing here. Radiator fan, it is connected to. Alright, the fuse box is connected up, so we might be able to see some gauges, which would be good. And then the radio harness, I actually did that, even though I don't know if the radio is going to work, because I didn't do the speakers. And then the dash harness as well. Okay, I think we're actually doing good. It might be time, though, that we went on a small adventure. Maybe, just maybe, it's time that we got that Rusko back. I don't know if this um, adventure is actually going to be successful though, because it's not easy to do this kind of thing. Alright, so how are we going to do this? How are we going to save the Rusko? Uh, first thing we should probably do is put these back, or the wiring mess back. Now the, the reason that I want to get the Rusko is basically uh, just because I want to use it to get the wheels, but also because it has the gas canister in it, and we kind of need that. <laughs> So I'm kind of worried about doing it now because it's dark, but I do need to get some preparations set up for it, and I wouldn't mind at least starting that adventure today uh, so we can get going on things, because we need those wheels really bad. The car has been on the ground for like 10 episodes now, so it's been a while that, uh, that I've just kind of been neglecting that. And also, I lost the Rusko pretty early on, so yeah... I didn't have it for very long. Now the mini bike is the obvious uh, answer to this problem, but it's not that obvious, unfortunately. <laughs> we might not be able to uh, to make it all the way there at this point. Like I need, I still need to go to the shop. <clears throat> so I was thinking maybe the tractor would be the best option, because if I grab the the tool kit, which we're gonna need. Um, and also a case of beer and some food, then it won't fit on the bike, because this might end up being a significant journey again. We'll probably end up towing the Rusko home. Alright, so let's get the tractor equipped for this long journey, perilous journey of certain death here, if I remember how to drive it, that is. Okay, so we have to get our supplies in order, uh, so we're gonna need the toolkit, because, well, if we accidentally save... Actually, you know what? We don't need to start the car, so we'll just leave that there. We're fine. Although now I'm not going to be fine that I'm stuck in this hole. But I do have an emergency case of beer in the, uh, in this area here, the kitchen. Forgot what a kitchen was called for a second. I'm completely losing it. Okay, so we'll put our emergency case of beer in the tractor. And I'm going to grab some food out of the fridge. Just one item I think will be enough for this journey. Just a frozen pizza. <laughs> that should work out for us. And I don't want to pack too heavily here because I'm going to end up losing something in all likelihood, so that should be good. <laughs> we could probably bring the bike as well, but I don't know, there isn't much point. And I think that's good to go. I think I'm gonna end the episode here, but next time we will for sure be taking the tractor immediately out to go save the Rusko, our final grand voyage over there to get it, 
and then either going to be this or the Rusco going to get the wheels, and then we can finally put some wheels on this car. Plus, we're going to have to go to the store. Uh, we need fluids. We need, I think we have fuel, but we need fluids, and then we can finally drive this thing, maybe. It probably isn't going to start, but <laughs> we can try. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. So this episode might end up being a little bit shorter, but that's okay. It still gives me time to thank those who have chosen to support the channel via the join button. We have Canadian Steel, Overlord, Dr. Ivo, That Right Stood Explorer, QT Bear, McLovin Plays, Terry Williams, The Most Random Person, Sick D Cars and Stuff, Boris Ramirez, Daniel, Justin, and that's it. Yeah, thank you for everybody who's supporting me in this way. I'm also thinking, um, I do have a Twitch channel, but I'm thinking I might start to stream on there, um, possibly this weekend. I'll let you know, though. Uh, so if you subscribe on the Twitch channel, it's going to be the same benefit as this. Uh, if I end up getting an affiliate thing, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, see you then.